Hey guys, it's Rex and welcome back to another episode of the Mind Switch tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be going from our looker bot that we left off last episode with to a jumper bot that can run and jump. I haven't made very many changes, so I'm going to go over those briefly. Here you can see we have a function called run and jump, and it does some stuff that we'll go over in a second. And we call this function whenever we get a message from the chat, from a, from a player. So we already had this function previously, the chat log function. But now we've also got this run and jump function that we are calling. Now, what does this run and jump do? We use control states here. Now, there's ways to do this without doing control state stuff, I think. But that's too far into Mindflayer tech for me to bother. These control states are very simple. You turn on keys and you turn off keys. Or turn on uh, movement types and turn off movement types. Now, it's... Turning on and turning off forward is the same thing as turning on and turn off W for those who use WASD. Um, and then sprint is like those who, uh, I guess, sprint or stop sprinting, stuff like this. And then jumping is like pressing space, etc. There's also sneaking. There's also going left, right, and backwards. And so what we do is we start by setting it to um, true to go forward. And so we go forward by one tick. And then after one tick of time, we will press sprint and jump. So we go forward for one tick, not sprinting. And then we sprint and jump. So we do a sprint jump forward, wait for 11 ticks, which is one jump cycle, and then turn off control states. So uh, what clear, all, clear control states does is it turns off every single control state that there is. Now we could turn them off manually by setting them to false. Here we're setting them to true, so we're turning them on. Um, but there's no reason to do that. We can just set them all to false. But if you did want to just turn off like the jumping one, let's say, or the sprinting one, then you could do that. So what this should do is after it does what we showed it to do last episode, check out last episode if you're unaware what it did. It'll uh, essentially just jump forward, do one sprint jump, one good one straight towards us. I'm going to go ahead and open up a client start up a world with all of this and then i'll show you guys how this works all right we're back as you guys can see i've got a client open and i've got my thing to run the script so we're going to press run we're going to open up our client we're going to see them join in a second here all right we've got our five accounts to test with i'm going to stand uh perpendicular to them because it'll be a little more obvious but when i type in the chat previously on this episode they would just look at you but now when i type in the chat they look at me and then they do a good sprint jump. Uh, and then of course they also do the um, coordinate logging stuff like they did the last time. Anyways, that's all I've got you guys for you guys today in this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna be looking at a bit more advanced stuff. Um, I think this is the last episode where we're doing like very basic stuff. And there's only a few more episodes before we get into actual projects, which I do already have a few to show you guys. Uh, Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to stay up to date with all my videos. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.